Hi, my name is Mark Hyten. I'm Assistant Head of Core Maths at Cardinal Newman College, and I'd just like to tell you all there is to know about Core Maths. Core Maths can be studied by any student at Cardinal Newman College, providing that you've got a grade five or above at GCSE Maths. Uh, it's designed to support your studies in your other subjects. Uh, so if you've studied any of these particular subjects, you should seriously consider taking Core Maths. Core Maths is a one year course, usually done in year 12, although can be taken in year 13. You would attend two lessons per week and sit two exams at the end of the year. The specification covers a variety of math skills that are applied to real world contexts, including financial problems, estimation, and the representation and interpretation of data. This is an example timetable for a student studying three A-level equivalents. We have a six letter block system and your A-level equivalents either across A-levels or BTEC qualifications could be spread across the letters A, B, C, D, E, and F. When core maths is added, there is still plenty of free time that you can use for additional study, either in college or at home. There are many benefits of taking core maths at Newman. Firstly, the course carries UCAS points that can be used towards your application for university. Also, more and more universities are offering reduced grade offers for students studying core maths, as you will be demonstrating study beyond the typical three A-level equivalent program. Our students who study core maths perform better in their other subjects compared to those studying no maths at all. There are two strands of core maths you can study at Newman, depending on the other courses that you choose. If you study the social science subjects, such as psychology, sociology or geography, then you'd follow option 2A, statistical techniques. If you study the science-based subjects, or economics for instance, then you would follow option 2C, which is graphical techniques. One of the main benefits of studying core maths is the potential for reduced grade entry criteria to university courses. Here is a list of university courses where core maths is welcomed when applying. This list is growing all the time as core maths grows in popularity. One highlight is the reduced entry criteria at Lancaster University if you want to study medicine, typically one of the most competitive courses to apply for. Lancaster University will reduce the entry criteria to AAB in three A-levels with a grade B in core maths. Based on the recent announcement of the Prime Minister, studying maths beyond the age of 16 will soon be compulsory. Core maths is likely to form part or all of this requirement, meaning students who are younger than you will have additional qualifications if you decide not to study core maths whilst it is optional. I'm Anna, I do English Language, Psychology and Economics A-level. Okay. Um, I'm hoping to do Psychology at degree level after college. So quite a few universities, including Bath and York, will lower entry requirements if you get at least an A or sometimes a B in core maths. So the two A's like the stats part of the um, core maths and that helped me with Psychology and a little bit with Economics. My name is Mohamed Omar Qureshi. I'm a first year student at Cardinal Newman College. I study A-level biology, chemistry and psychology. And after college, I'd like to pursue medicine. Core maths, I'd say it's helped me in various situations. For example, uh, because I say um, I'm studying biology, chemistry and psychology. They're not maths based. However, they have elements of maths in them. So I find it's very important that I keep on top of my math skills because a certain percentage of the paper is worth uh, maths marks. So core maths, it helps you with the basics and it helps you, you know, develop, you know, your graph skills and aspects that are very important in biology, chemistry and psychology. And I feel that core maths helped me in that. So I'm Hannah. I study English combined drama, computer science and core maths. And afterwards, I'm hoping to go on and do computer science at degree level with artificial intelligence, hopefully at Durham. I went there this weekend um, and I went with, I talked to with someone who'd done their PhD in um, computer science, which is what I want to go up to, and he said that there would be a great possibility of me being able to do it had I meet the certain entry requirements to do a foundation year, because a lot of universities will offer that foundation year, especially if you have core maths. So not only will you have the lower entry requirements for doing a foundation year, but because you do core maths, a lot of universities will offer lower grade boundaries, foundation year or no foundation year if you do core maths.
Comax has really helped me in terms of um, being able to build up and kind of move and progress into like adult life. It's taught me a lot about what I can kind of look forward to in terms of taxes and mortgages and just kind of being an adult and getting that independence when I'm older. It's also helped me in a computer science sense because I tend to look at things from a different angle and different perspective, i.e. a core maths perspective, whereas a lot of people who do maybe third maths and maths maybe not don't look to because they don't study the exact same things that we do in core maths. My name is Thomas and I am studying accounting, politics, modern history and core maths and I want to do an apprenticeship in accounting. Core maths has really helped me in my accounting A level um, and it has really helped me get some work experience in an accounting firm as well as in an investment firm. They were quite eager to know about my um, core maths um, subject. The reason I took um, core maths was to help me in accounting. Um, and it has helped me especially in um, calculating um, finance in terms of when you are doing financial statements and things. My name is Eamon Ajaz and I am currently studying psychology, biology, chemistry and core maths and I'm planning to study medicine after college. I think the most uh, I don't know mainstream complaint about maths is like it doesn't fit into context in the real world like how when do we use trigonometry when do we use graphs in the real world but like with core maths I got to understand how maths relates to the real world like we learn how to do taxes and student loans and all that stuff so I feel like I'm more street smart because of core maths. If you've decided that core maths will be beneficial for you you can simply ask to be enrolled onto core maths during the enrollment process after you receive your GCSE results. We also have a course change window of around four weeks at the start of the academic year called Newman Extra, which provides another opportunity for you to take core maths if you wish. You want to know what a typical core maths question looks like? Well, here's an example. Fermi estimation is a big topic in core maths that usually carries a lot of marks in a paper one exam. In core maths, marks are predominantly given for your method rather than for your final answer. But in this topic, the final answer doesn't even matter. Because the process of arriving at an answer is more important than the answer itself, large corporations such as Google, Amazon and Apple have used a similar style of question in their job interviews. Feel free to pause the video and have a go at this question yourself. See how close you can get to our model answer, not that it matters. In order to answer this question, first you need to consider what assumptions you will need to make before you begin calculating an answer. A good approach with this topic is to make the problem smaller. So instead of simply guessing how many times an average person blinks in one month, try instead to extrapolate from how many times you blink in one minute. Then assume how long you would spend asleep or awake on average, as you won't blink in your sleep. Uh, you also need to assume how many days there are in one month. Most months are 30 or 31 days long, but February is 28 days long or even 29 if it's a leap year. Then you should use your assumptions from the number of times you blink in one minute to work out how many times you blink in an hour, then in a day, and finally how many times you blink in a month. Did you get close to 345,600? If not, it doesn't matter anyway. My name is Anastasia Gavelcheck. I currently study core maths, economics, business studies and modern history. After college I aim to go to Durham University to study accounting. Using core maths will help me because one of the entry requirements is core maths qualification at grade B instead of GCSE maths at grade 7. I'm glad I chose core maths because it made me aware of how to work out student loans which I need for university and mortgages which I'll need to know in the future after university and income tax and national insurance which I need when I have a job. Yeah, I'm glad I chose it because obviously there's the opportunity to get like lower requirements and it's provided me with like relevant like math skills for life. I'm very glad I chose core maths because me personally, I found it easier than GCSE maths, right? It was only one year long and you actually learn about real life situation for example there's always been the meme that oh school never teaches us stuff we actually use in life or teach us about tax or on core maths you learn about tax you learn about your 
the national insurance. You learn about stuff that's actually useful. You learn about budgeting, savings, and especially, you know, in these times, um, inflation, everything is very important. So I'm really glad I chose Comas. I'm Grace. I study psychology, combined English and also sociology. And after college, I'm hoping to do psychology for a PhD and hopefully go to Edinburgh University. I'm really glad that I chose to study core maths just because it's helped build my confidence with general life skills and building up my knowledge of finance and learning how to handle money and just general knowledge. I'm really glad I chose, chose core maths because it kind of unlocked this potential and more of a confidence in me to kind of think that I am able to do these sorts of things and I am able to apply myself in a mathematical sense as someone who's maybe more of a creative sense by doing English and drama, but someone who can also kind of apply themselves in a STEM sense and in a logical sense as well. I am really glad I chose core maths because the core maths qualification supersedes GCSE qualifications. Like in GCSE, um, I got a six um, and now I'm looking to get an A in my core maths. So um, I am really glad I chose core maths this year. I'm very glad that I chose a core maths because I got to learn how uh, maths relates to the real world and how stuff with Fermi estimation and taxes and student loans, how I can use that in, like, in my life after college, after university.